Welcome to the How to Create Your Own Document Type video. The Club Document Management Module is a built-in system that records and stores archived copies of documents that have been created during processing within Jonas. It's included for free for all clients. Only those clients who would like to extend the capabilities of what the modules can do for them would need to purchase the Club Document Management Advanced Module. This video will focus on those clients that have the advanced module and for those who would like to get a sneak peek of what it offers. I will discuss how to create your own document type and relating attributes. For clients with the advanced module, to be able to add your own documents to document management, you must create your own document types. To do this, go to Club Management, Club Admin, Document Management Parameters. Confirm the path and folder for the Document Management field is correct and can be accessed by all Jonas users. Select the Documents Type button. The F2 lookup on the Document Types field shows the internal factory types. Select the Set up another document type item to begin to create a custom document type. A list of document types templates appear for you to choose from. Type your own description in the window that appears. Show and look up. Click to show this document type in the drop down list. In the Viewer tab Display field, enter a shorter description, maximum 20 characters, of your custom type. This will be used in the Viewer to label the tab where documents associated with this type will be displayed. You can edit it to be shorter. Use the Module Viewer field if your custom document type will be associated with a specific area in Jonas, like Club or POS, to have it available only in that module. If all is selected, then it can potentially be chosen in the document viewer in every area, for example, the GL audit. In the security setting field, there are two choices, the document type or by menu security. The system document types can determine how their security is set by using their user restrictions or group register descriptions tab on the left. Access can be determined by the user's ID menu security access to various viewers. For example, if you don't have menu access to print member statements, you won't be able to see the member statements document types. You will see the two tabs for restrictions, users and groups. To control access to the view, add and delete buttons in the viewer to the specific user IDs or user groups, Go to the User and Group Restrictions tab to define what user IDs can see in Document Viewer for the specific document types. The Attributes tab is pre-filled with types of metadata attributes associated with the document type template you choose, like Supplier for an AP type of document. The documents are associated with each document type or stored with the documents as they are created or added to the system. These attributes form the columns that are displayed in the document viewer and can be sorted and filtered upon. Additional attributes can be added to the pre-filled list. Attributes can be reordered or hidden by using the Attribute Display Order button. Slide what you want to show from one pane to another. and move them up or down within the right pane in what order you want them to appear. To unhide attributes, use the Reset Attributes button. This will only make the hidden ones reappear and it can't restore the original order of them. A further extension of the functionality that the Advanced Module gives you is the ability to edit how attributes are displayed in the viewer and to create your own custom attributes. To do this, 
Let's go to the Attributes Master List to see the list of available attributes. The Document Attributes button will only be enabled if you have the Advanced Document Management module. Going across the grid, we have Attributes column, the name of the attribute, type, related to the attribute, whether it is text, number, currency, date, or pick list, input length, the maximum number of characters that can be entered for the attribute, viewer column display text, this is what shows in the viewer for the column heading of this attribute. It's the only part that can be adjusted for the factory attributes. Display width. This is the length of the description associated with the attribute's content that will show in the viewer. Visible. Whether it will be seen in the list. Pick list. Only enabled with a pick list type of attribute. Use this column to launch a new screen to create your own list of possible items to choose from when this attribute is attached to the documents. Click the OK button to save your attributes and return back to the Document Management Parameter screen. This completes the end of our video, How to Create Your Own New Document Type. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our Jonas Club Management YouTube channel for more how-to videos. See you in the next one.